Hi, I'm Twyla Moon. I'm the principal investigator for the Q Greenland project. And this is another project that is just in the beginning stages. We started um, work at the end of 2019, beginning of 2020. And Q Greenland is inspired by a package that exists for Antarctica called Quantarctica. And the idea is that we are bringing together data pertinent to Greenland and making it a part of a full package where so that all of the data is already undergone any transformations needed to all be in the same projection, uh, have formatting that works for use in a GIS space, and no one is needing to go find the original data themselves, do a lot of work on formatting and creating their own GIS environment. This is a package that works off of QGIS, which is open source GIS software. So once a person goes and down, downloads the Q Greenland package, they can open it up in QGIS and they essentially have a fully interactive data environment regarding uh, Greenland. So in that way, it's open data and it's also an open platform for interdisciplinary data. And then it can be used offline, uh, fully downloaded to a person's computer and used there, or we will have some types of data that will be usable uh, via online. For example, data sets that are too large to include in a download package or ones that might be creating uh, near real-time data updates in the different layers. The idea is that there are a variety of portals that exist entirely online where there are some pieces and parts of geospatial data regarding Greenland, but those have pretty limited functionality for the sort of deep analysis that we need to do as geoscientists. And also, if you're coming at your research from a particular discipline, it can be a real challenge to try to reach across to other disciplines and understand where there might be inter interesting intersectionality. And so Q Greenland will have data that represents a wide variety of disciplines that is already vetted by an international editorial board that we have and also collaborators that we have, which include quite a number of groups in Greenland and Denmark and elsewhere. So you can feel that the data that you're getting is uh, identified by those different disciplinary communities as important, um, valuable, well-produced data. And we'll also, you can track those things back to where they've come from as far as metadata and information about original data as well. We have a variety of products that will come online to help train people to use this and introduce it to them. We'll, we're planning to have a first version of Q Greenland available this fall and start introducing it to the um, community more broadly in fall and then have a couple of version updates through the lifetime of the project. And we'll also be creating some materials to help educators, um, decision makers, and communities work with the data so that while the uh, geoscience and science research community is our number one audience, we would like to serve these other audiences and help them be able to use this information.